Hey everyone, Alec here with Veed, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to post your Twitch clips on Instagram. So let's say you do a Twitch stream and after that stream you decide to clip a few clips because you think they would make good content for your social media platforms. The only problem is that Twitch clips aren't optimized to be posted on Instagram. You stream with the 16 by 9 aspect ratio where on Instagram it's best to post with the 1 by 1 or 4 by 5 aspect ratio. And with that being said, I'm going to be showing you how you can edit your Twitch clips for Instagram so you can trim them, crop them, add text, images, music, and much, much more. So the tool we're going to be using to do this is called Veed. So you can either head over to Google and Google Veed, which is V-E-E-D, and click on the first link, or I'm going to be putting the links in the description below. So once you're on Veed, if you don't already have an account, you'll be prompted to create a new one for free. And if you do already have an account, we're just going to click on the new project button right here. And now I need to upload my clip. So I earlier went ahead and just grabbed a Twitch clip from Kenny Beats, and I'm going to be using this clip because I don't actually have a Twitch myself. So I've gone ahead and got this clip and now if I click on my upload button, I'm going to upload this Twitch clip to Veed's video editor. So now you can see that if I click play, as you can see, I have a video of Zach Fox and Kenny Beats messing around in the studio, which is from Kenny Beats Twitch. So the first thing you need to do when posting on Instagram is change the aspect ratio. Right now we have the 16 by nine aspect ratio. So this will be good for Twitch or YouTube, but we're gonna go ahead and change it to a square post on Instagram. So from the canvas size drop down menu in the top right, I'm gonna go ahead and click. And here we have a bunch of preset aspect ratios for different social media platforms. And right at the top here, we have square one by one posts. If I click this, I now have a square video canvas. So this is going to be the perfect Instagram post. Now the problem here is that it's cropped out. So if I head over to the video tab and I click on fit frame, it's now going to fit the entire clip in your square video. Now, the next thing you might want to do is change the background color. If you don't like the fact that the background color is black, we can go ahead and click on the project button. And then under the background color here, you can change your background color. We're just going to select this purple so it resembles Twitch. And now we want to add a little bit of text. So if I use this text button, I can now add some new text, a headline to catch people's attention. I can just write, let's just say Kenny Beats. And I'm going to change the font to Anton. I can change the text color. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. And I'm also going to change the layout so it's centered. And then I can resize it on my video canvas just by clicking and dragging. So that's perfect right there. And then now what I want to do is potentially add a progress bar at the bottom of my clip. So if I click on the elements tab, I click on progress bars. Now I can add an easy progress bar. So I've got my progress bar that appears on the video canvas. I'm going to place it at the bottom right here and then click and drag it out. Now if I click play. Okay. As you can see, the progress bar moves along with the clip. Now, I could leave space at the bottom here for subtitles, but because they're making music and they're not talking too much in this video, I'm going to skip that part. However, I can just use the subtitle tab, add some subtitles thanks to the auto subtitle tool. Now, back to the progress bar. Now, what I might do is actually drag my clip down so it's more visible on the screen. It's zoomed in a bit, and then I leave a tiny space at the bottom here for my progress bar. I'm going to drag my clip a bit down there we go now my progress bar i'm actually going to change the color the front color i want to make it the twitch color and then the background color will leave it as white so now as we can see the further along we are through the video the progress bar comes closer to its end as we see at the end of the video the progress bar finishes at the beginning the progress bar just starts so now once i'm happy with my clip i can go ahead and click on the download button in the top right and then Veed will start to render my project and then once it's finished rendering i can download it and then i can take this clip that was originally a Twitch clip and post it to Instagram. And that is how to post Twitch clips on Instagram. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you want to see more videos like this, please hit the like button and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.